Okay, Rod, so to mate this up, you're probably going to start by doing revolute mates on all the edges. If you go center to center on edges, it'll pivot around that like a hinge. But if you try to do it manually all the way around, you're going to find that there's going to be some tolerance issues based off the lengths of the edges. So if we give this some freedom of movement in one way and then do another revolute right here, you'll see these things just start getting weird. Oh, that was a slider, my bad. Uh, I was going for cylindrical. So far, so good. But as we keep going around, eventually, all these tolerances are going to add up and it's going to start to go red. It's usually the case when I see people trying to just mate these directly like this. So we'll do another combination between Revolute to hold it still, while the other one will be cylindrical to give us some freedom of movement in one direction. But you see, we're starting to get these tolerancing issues. So instead, what we can do is take advantage of patterns. In this case, we'll need an axis, so we'll just go ahead and throw a make connector right here on the top face of the pentagon. And we'll revolute around that, or pattern around that. And now we can start building off of this pattern. So what would be next? Uh, I believe it would be another hex. So we'll copy and paste that. Revolute. Not cylindrical because we want to hold our left to right direction. And it helps sometimes to hide the pattern so you can see what part you're mating to. So I don't like to mate to the pattern itself whenever possible. Alright, so that should have been a pentagon. Sorry. There we go. So now, in this case, we're going to have to mate to part of the pattern, but at this point, to kind of maintain tolerancing, I'm going to use tangent mates going from this point to this face from now on. So our next part would be another hexagon. And these two parts, I believe, are our real parts, not the pattern. So we will mate to that. So we'll do revolute. either of these two edges. We'll bring it up a little bit and we'll tangent those two faces. And now we can add those parts to the pattern as we continue to build up. So now we need another hex that's Revolute. Figure out which ones are the patterns. Okay, these two. Let's see, I accidentally did slider again. And tangent. Add it to the pattern. Oh, lost my mouse. Right. And I believe that's be a hexagon right here. Sorry, pentagon.
go again with that slider. Tangent that point to that face. Add that to the pattern. We just keep repeating until we get to the top. So we can see where we're leading to. We'll go here. Tangent point face. Add to pattern. Now we just gotta cap the top. That'll be another pentagon. Backwards, but we can edit that, flip it around. Now we just gotta drop it down. Or we can just make it parallel to the bottom, also, so those are parallel. That way we're not made into a pattern. Right, we got some extra mate connectors we don't need. Let's go ahead and delete those. And there we go.